Hey sports fans, it's time to talk local sports. On Sunday, Doc Rivers has been named the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. He takes over for Brett Brown, who was fired after the 76ers were swept by the Boston Celtics in the first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Philadelphia is headlined by former top draft picks Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, who both became All-Stars and led the Sixers to two straight trips to the Eastern Conference semifinals. Rivers went 356 and 208 over seven seasons with the Clippers, taking them to the West second round three times. Rivers hiring means the league remains at four black coaches currently with jobs. He is 16-24 and 943 in nearly 21 seasons as an NBA coach. He was the 1999-2000 NBA Coach of the Year. Welcome to Philadelphia, Doc! The Phillies demoted general manager Matt Klintak on Saturday after he failed to build a winning team in five seasons, despite carrying one of baseball's highest payrolls in recent years. He will be assigned to another position in the organization. John Middleton will begin his search to hire the 12th general manager in franchise history. The Phillies have a world champion manager, a superstar wide right fielder, and an ownership group that has shown eagerness in recent winters to spend in free agency. The Phillies committed more than $700 million to free agents in the last three offseasons but finished with a combined winning percentage of 492 from 2018 through 2020. They finished this season four games below 500, missed the playoffs by a game, and were excluded from a postseason field that was expanded to eight teams. Klintak was hired in October 2015 to help refresh a front office that had been passed by in baseball's analytical revolution and to return the franchise to the winning they grew accustomed to five years earlier. Under Klentak, the team greatly expanded its reliance on analytics and modern technologies, but the postseason still remained out of reach. Carson Wentz hit Travis Fulgham on a 42-yard touchdown pass with 5.50 remaining to lift the Philadelphia Eagles to their first win of the season, 25-20 over the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday night. With the Eagles missing their top three receivers and number two tight end, Dallas Goddard, the little-known Travis Fulgham delivered the play of the game for Philadelphia. The Eagles were backed up with a second and 18 from the 42 after Jalen Hurts botched a shotgun snap. But Fulgham got past backup cornerback Dante Johnson and Wentz delivered a perfectly placed pass for the score that gave Philadelphia an 18-14 lead. Carson Wentz ran for an 11-yard touchdown and threw for 193 yards and a score to move the Eagles into first place in the hapless NSC East with their first win of the season. Let's hope the Eagles get their second win of 2020 on Sunday against Pittsburgh. I went 3-2 in my picks. Denver, Cleveland, and of course, the Eagles, who finally got a win. Overall, Denver gallops in New Jersey. Cleveland gets win number three. Indianapolis Whites in Chicago. Buffalo bucks off the Raiders and the Eagles got their first win of 2020. It's week 5 of the 2020 NFL season. Which teams will win on Thursday and Sunday? Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus Chicago Bears. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 3 and 1 with a 38-31 comeback win against the Chargers. The Chicago Bears lost 19-11 to the Colts. I predict the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will win their fourth game of the season. Philadelphia Eagles versus Pittsburgh Steelers, a battle of Pennsylvania. 
The Steelers are 3 and 0 coming off their bye week. The Eagles are 1, 2 and 1 and have first place in the NFC East with a 25-20 win over the 49ers. I have the Philadelphia Eagles winning their second game of the season. Fly Eagles fly. Cincinnati Bengals versus Baltimore Ravens. The Cincinnati Bengals won their first game of the season 33-25 against the Jaguars. The Ravens won 31-17 in Landover. I predict the Baltimore Ravens will win and go to 4-1. Buffalo Bills vs. Tennessee Titans in a battle of undefeated teams. The Buffalo Bills are on fire. They are 4-0 on the season. The Titans are coming off their bye week. I have the Buffalo Bills winning their fifth straight game. New York Giants versus Dallas Cowboys. The New York Giants are 0-4 to start their season, losing at Los Angeles 17-9. The Cowboys lost 49-38 to Cleveland. I have the New York Giants getting their first win of the season. Indianapolis Colts versus Cleveland Browns. A battle of the 3-1 teams. The Colts won 1911 over the Bears in Chicago. The Browns won 49-38 at Dallas. I have the Cleveland Browns winning their fourth game of the season. Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching to keep those comments running and I will talk to you next week.